Could have wear me one for come out of your presence for When your presence see the regular It's motivation and memories with ivory Hey guys, greetings. Welcome back to Motivations and Memories. My name is Ivory Carr. Special welcome to you first time viewers. I am back with the conclusion of the testimony and life story of Pastor Denzel Miller. Guys, there are many times that we experience some things and we wonder why. But then at the end of it, we're able to look back and say, God, it was because of you. You had a hand in all of this. That was the story with our pastor. I'm going to ask you to click in the description box and you will find part one in case you had missed it. So we see a life that was touched by God from a very early age, even when he didn't know so. He, even when he was in the dance hall, God's hands were on him to the point that he would leave dance and go kneel down and pray. Many of you out there, you're doing some things and you're not comfortable because as you reach home, you're at your bedside bawling. It means that God is dealing with you and it is time to just give up. We are about to see the other part now where he started to walk with God and purpose begins to unfold. My friends, if you will allow God to do what he wants to do in your lives, purpose will be unfold. Many of you are already walking and fulfilling purpose in you know, but you're not even aware that you are doing it because remember you know purpose is that thing that drives you that thing that you have to do and if you don't do it you feel so uncomfortable so guys stay tuned as we continue with this testimony remember to share this video with somebody leave a comment let us know your thoughts and if you did not yet subscribe to motivations and memories i implore you to do so the work is continuing regardless of the different setbacks to god be the glory and we continue to, to remain resolute in advancing the kingdom of god so stay tuned blessings the farmers i sent to borrow a suit from my brother in law because i'm following sunday i'm going to church i mean i'm going to style ah, boy yes and 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 and, and I, I the first sunday to church mm -hmm. I, I i wore a suit i remember I don't remember the name of the, of the church name, New Testament or whatever, but it's got the name changed now. But same place in Raytown there. Sit at the back. You know, you're going and you sit at the back. Right. And Sister Miller took me to the pastor, which he, uh, Pastor Thomas Thompson. And we, we, we talk. And I, I told him I want to baptize. And he said, no, he can't baptize because both of us live together. Uh -huh. Okay, that's all right. So I keep on going to church, and Sister Miller, going to church, start plan wedding. Yeah, man, start plan wedding right away. And let me tell you, man, the only thing that I bought for that wedding, you see when God planned for you, the only thing that I bought is, is the ring and my suit. Everything else was done by family members, and friends. Mm -hmm. Everything else, I don't, I never, I never have a cent to spend, matter of fact. You understand? Uh, and I remember uh, we planned, the, the wedding was for the, the August, not the August, July, 27th of July. So the 27th of this month is going to be our 26th anniversary. So, yeah, 26th. So remember, I go in church uh, back and forth before we live together. Never have a Bible. So Sister Miller, from she always loved right. So she always write down scripture. So she gave me the book and I read at night time. And man, we're trying to abstain from having sex. It was difficult, rough. Because we know we're not supposed to do that while we are Christian. Mm -hmm. I remember Lady Thomas, one at night, boy, feelings get real serious, real serious. I remember both of us used to. And both of us under the same roof. Mm -hmm. Right? So I remember call my sister. And says, sis, I cannot, I can't manage, I can't keep up to this. I cannot abstain anymore. I mean, my sister very close. And she was saying, brother, send her come a country. Send her come a country. One part of me was in our next part, I said, no, sir, you're mad. I wish country. <laughs> no, now I'm going to country. 
And Lady T, uh, we, and at that time, you know, just, just speeding it up for time's sake. At that time, both of us end up on the praise team now, you know, because I, 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 I want to get involved in church. Mm. I, don't want to, I don't want to just be just normal. I don't want to be normal in church. I want to be a person mm. who is involved, involved. Right. And there and there now, both of us on the praise team, but we are still committing fornication, having sex all the Saturday night and going and sing Sunday morning. My God. So, so I know what it is now. So when, 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 as a pastor, uh, when I can tell two members, if you are going out, make sure somebody go with you and watch, we are watching, but we understand. Understand, yes. We understand the whole thing. Say, so, so when two persons have feelings for each other, you come together. It doesn't problem. matter. Holy Ghost, gone problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. So, so we're there, and yeah, my God. But God is God, grace and mercy. You know. So my life, my purpose is 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 just praise. I'm praising God. Amen. Amen. But all through that, God, God was uh, God, God was still preparing. Me for this purpose. Right. So I, I remember, yes, we, we, the date and everything planned for wedding. Um, and she was pregnant, I see at the time, yes. And we, we get married. I took her to Portland because my father said, listen to me, you are the man. Take her to country. Marry our country. She was a young man. Right. So we, we, we got to country, get married, come back and man, let me tell the man. The amount of present, we are good thing. We rent a car. The car have to take back present and all of that. And we start life, man. And I say, man, I can't be, be a, I can't live on the guest money. No, I have to get a job. Right? So I, I, I that's the way I started the security work. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I prefer I prefer sure about a pay. Yes. Because we got to take up people, girl, you know, you know, so you understand. And then, yeah, start on church and dedicated in church. That's a dedicated my life. Dedicate every being. Yeah, man, of everything. If it's to clean church, I'm there. Anything. When my pastor doing like a street meeting on a Sunday evening, like, no, you don't have to worry. I will go to the church take out the boxes and everything and go and pack up and set up and whatever. Not yeah, knowing right that on. you were sowing a seed. Not knowing that, you know, that was training for you because I'm sure you never have a, an inkling that you were going to be eventually launched out, you know, to do ministry and would, and would know after between all of this, but this was training ground for you. Definitely, definitely. So God, God will train us in some way that you never understand. Absolutely. So sometimes our mistake is a training. Amen. Sometimes our miss up is a training. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes being in the in the valley is a training. Yes. Because training to 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 to, to for that purpose in our lives. And, and and I remember, I remember quite well. So, so, so dedicated in church that, that, that there was a time I was a youth president and the main president at the same time. My God. If, yes, I, I, I would, I would, I, I was the only man and the, and the youth choir with about 20 women. <laughs> yes, you understand? I would, on a, on, a, on a Friday night, I would be at church, me and Sister Miller. Uh, sometimes when we play the drum and we sing along the whole place, sometimes we alone in our mm -hmm. young wife. Are you think that the place pack? Right? There was a time every Friday night I would after after our young people service. Uh that that at that time the birth of our son of brain damage. I right. missed that part. Jack Rodell would take her to Spanish town every Friday night to all night prayer meeting. And at that time I was doing security work and we would come back early in the morning. I got to go to work at seven o'clock to do security work. Hmm. Amen. All of that. I tell and, you. And, and, and I remember I, I, I become, I was ordained an a, a evangelist. Uh, I was a deacon. I, I, I was a minister. 
I, I was on the I was on the board. I was one of them helped to check off the offering at the time, a Sunday day time. I I was doing the only meeting that would miss me is a ladies' meeting. Ladies meeting. <laughs> Is a ladies' meeting. That's the oh, only Lord. meeting that we miss it. And sometimes when they have a meeting, I will go at the gate and peep in and then they say, Oh, yeah, do it. They go put your address and come back. <laughs> <laughs> All of that. And I, I I eventually got this name Superman at my church. Mm-hmm. They will call me Superman. I, I would I would I would even go to the church and I lock up in the church and just paint church by myself. Uh I remember all those fans and do some electrical work, install fans, and that clean church all by myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I would I would walk with that like uh, some brush, like a toothbrush, to clean up the clean up the instrument. God was really training me. Yes, clean training bro. Pick and span and all of that. And I mean, and, in the midst of that, while you were doing that, you had a child that was sick. A child that needed so much attention, right? Couldn't be left alone. Had to be in and out of the hospital. And that never deterred you nor Lady Miller from doing the things that you needed to do for God, right? You were still at church. Once in the hospital, you're in church. You were at whatever meetings and still cheering those persons who led you on. So you were the right hand for pastor, right? Doing this and doing all the right hands because it's two of you. One other thing about ministry, you know, hmm, is that when persons say, and you were not a pastor then, but we have some persons who say, some young people, I want to be married to a pastor. I remember when I was studying some years ago, and we had to do some Bible-based courses. And this young lady said, is a pastor me you are married to? I remember turning around. I didn't, I was going to intervene in our business, but me just want to see her face. So I turned around to look who said it. Right. And in my mind, I said, I hope <laughs> you're prepared for it because and I eventually said it in class the day that, you know, if, if you're going to desire certain things, you have to ensure that you really desire ministry because people don't understand that it's not just being the pastor or being the pastor's wife, but it's all about ministry. Because when you're in ministry, when, when I'm ministry, you do ministry straight. There is no easing up. You know, get vacation leave, so to speak, from ministry. You get a break and you go off for a little while. But even when you're off on your rest time or your sabbatical, ministry is still in your mind. You, you just go off to rest and recoup, which even Jesus did. He would take himself away and go off in prayer. So that is needed. But even while, when you're off, you're throwing off. The, 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 so you, the, you're tired and, and you're revamping. But even so, you're getting new ideas. So when you come back, no, you're coming back renewed. You right. come back with some new visions. So the work continues. So even when you're off, <laughs> you're still doing ministry in your head because you're seeing all the things that when you were busy doing the ministry, you never see it, you know, because you were so busy being engaged True. over there and over there. But when you pull back or step back, you're able to say, oh, but that never doing you know, that needs to be done. And so you're off, but in your mind, you're coming back now being renewed. You had, as Jadel was the name. Right. You said you had Jadel who was sick and both of you had to be, you know, interchanging and all of that. And then... A second child came in the picture and that even now make things worse. Right. So most times it seems like it's a twin. We would have like a twin stroller. Exactly. So both, both of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the thing is that that still did not deter you. No. You would have experienced not being able to provide for your family as you wanted. But that never stopped you 
from no. being engaged in ministry. Are we talking about purpose? So out, out, in all of this, we're seeing the training <laughs> purpose. Never have a clue. You didn't think you're a pastor, you're going to be never. pastor I wouldn't, of a ministry. I, I never even knew I would be a preacher, much less to be a pastor. There you because go. Because I remember like it was about like seven months after being saved. Mm -hmm. Months after being saved, I I, I remember uh, 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 on the youth choir sit on the rostrum. Uh, and the, 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 we invited a, a young preacher at the time, Dwight Peku. In those days, you hear about Peku mm -hmm, in my mm -hmm. tear down Jamaica. Yes. Yeah, man. Dwight Peku at the time, young and vibrant, you know. And, and we invited him to speak on a youth Sunday. And him never turned up. And then the youth director, Anita Buchanan, looked around at me and said, are you a preacher? We said, yeah, yeah, you know, no sense. She said, me don't chat. Mm. And we said, Jesus have mercy. What am I going to talk about? I mean, I'm talking about, and the light like, nowadays, a church of few people. Not those days, people go to church. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you have your full. Yeah, mm -hmm. church plan. And it was seven months into being a Christian. But, 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 lo and behold, the, the, the Saturday while I was at work, I was preaching a sermon. All right. I was preaching from Philippians 4. Uh, uh, so, something about joy. Count it all joy when thou in, into vi the they diverse, fall into diverse temptations. Mm -hmm. I was preaching that. And prior to that, I used to preach at home. On my bed, I used to stand on my bed and the family sit down. And yes, stand up. sir. Yeah, and I never know, I preach and I perform, practicing, never know that God was really using that to train. Mm -hmm. So I remember I was sent to the preacher now and they put me on. And when I, I preach, man, and I, I, I think I did well because even, even my, my pastor began to give me some of his Sunday to preach. Mm -hmm. And I remember one day called me after preaching and said, Pastor, no, Pastor, Brother Miller, he just told me, I said, Brother Miller, where do you get your sermon from? Me, I said, God, I will make you know. <laughs> so I said, I said, I do a lot of reading and I, I, I fast four times a week. I used to fast like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Every, every week, every God given. I used to fast. Right? I remember I went and uh, I guess I guess I was going on a long fasting for my son Jodel. And and it was a minister from the church stopped me. I never to understand. Because you see, you got to be careful now who's mm. speaking to our lives ah. and, and, and direct us. Mm. Because I was saying I was directed by a lot of preachers that my life, my life's Jodel deliverance depends on my lifestyle. And this and that, and go from fasting. I was on long fasting. My God. For Jodel. And my eyes begin to sink into work. Was a minister lady, Minister Strauss, give a broad nose. Stop me and say, you're kidding yourself. Yes. Yeah. You I know, I'm destroyed and, because of lack of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Until, you know. And, and all through that, he never delivered, never walk, never sit up, never sit down. He, exactly. he, he, he. But God was because using Because all of that was training. Training. Was all of that training was training. Because, because what I know, every time I'm supposed to go out to minister, because there and then I began to get like invitation to go out, preach mm. and all of that. And, and every time when I'm supposed to go out, Jodel took sick, took sick. Every time. Every time. Whenever, whenever, whenever anything funny around the house, he would, he would alert us. You will oh. seem to look strange and you know that there are devils and demons around. And then I would begin to pull down and pray and whatever. So I, he, 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 was, he, was a, he was a blessed child. He, 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 he was a purpose child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? He was a purpose child and God bless him. You know, he died at age 10. He, he, he went through every, every, every ward at a at, at children's hospital. Mm -hmm. He was well known, man. I told her his funeral was like 
I remember the pastor that come and greet him, tell his to me, if I, if I, boy, make the place look so you can imagine you, a stadium, your funeral of it will be, My you know, God. back in the day. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, time is running, we fast, fast forward it, you know, and, and all of that, there and then, and we began to serve at, at Rear Town as a minister. Mm -hmm. I served there for, for 15 years, and I remember, I remember when, when my pastor, first pastor was migrated. And then he, he, he had in a, another a point. A uh, lady, she's now deceased. I think you know her pastor. Yes, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Now deceased. So I used to work along with her. At the same time, I, I know my, my space. I'm not the pastor. So I, you understand? Yes. But she would, she would push me up front if visiting me and me. I think that's the way we make a link with your church. Yes. <laughs> by, by coming and going and all over. Right, and but but the, 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 the most difficult part of it now is when I was supposed to leave there and start my own ministry. It was tough. Mm -hmm. I wasn't looking for it. I, 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 I don't believe I was ready for it. In my own... Yes, because you, you thought, because you're comfortable, you, very comfortable. you, you, you are... Even though you're not the pastor, but in your head, you're saying, well, eventually, no, because she's an older person. So eventually, based on what I I know right. that I'm next in line. So you're comfortable. Me good. Very comfortable. Um, no, yeah, go no, pastoral, no pastoral duty. Mm -hmm. I know pastoral duty hard. You know, guys, pastoral duty is not about, about preaching, you know. It's not all about preaching. Preaching is like about oh, 5%. Uh -huh. we, not for we think says those preachers. It's not right. every preacher can be a pastor. Not at all. Talk it's it not, again. It's not every preacher can be a pastor. Because if you have a pastor's it's, heart, a pastor have, has a heart. Listen to me. Lord Jesus. Have, it's I a always heart. Say, I always say a pastor, and I'm gonna use this illustration. Like, 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 you know, when they're cutting a road, uh, you have your a pastor is like a grader. Mm -hmm. You have the one where call the bulldozer like mm -hmm. a van. Yes. The van because bulldozer and everything I'm gone. Gone. No gone. Yes. No but care to stock up one mash down. No business. Right. But who want to fix up back? Hammer right. it and gone. Come on. So the pastor would have to be that one. Yes, man. To 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 to, to smooth up mm. the thing. Come on. Come on. So, so I say a pastor. You have to have a pastor's heart. Have a heart. A heart. Of, a, yes. A, uh, uh, that is uh, compassionate. Come on. No? You, have to, you have to have that, uh, that when I'll, 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 I'll because listen to me, it, it was even just two days ago. My, my, my bishop was talking, I'm sure saying, Pastor, listen to me. Sometimes we pastors are the biggest hypocrite. Mm. Because sometimes white people, and we are saying, Pastor, we love you, and we are saying, we're, we're some people should have hit. No, we hurt us. us. But we can. Can't do it. Right? So uh, I, I said that, boy, it was tough, real tough to leave. Right. So in the middle I, of you there, comfortable and all of that, God said, I need you to go over there. Right. God pulled me out. And I, I was saying, oh, oh I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to do it. And I remember before that happened, an evangelist from there said to me, uh, he comes, he comes, Superman, says, Superman, you know me, dream, see, you're going to resign from work, how do God work? So I said, oh, yeah, talk. I don't know what you're talking about. So there and then when I when 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 the person called me and introduced me to, to uh, my bishop. And she was the first one I said to, and she said, she said, she said, Superman, you remember what I said to you? I'm gonna say yes. And 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 I remember coming from work. I've, uh, I was like a Monday evening. We used to have in a on Monday evening. And 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 the pastor who lives in Red in, in Bull Bay called me and said, Minister Miller was a minister at the time. Minister Miller, come here, come check me. I'm a writer, I'm going to check him. Say, I, have a, I have a bishop in, in, in Canada, I want to start a work in Jamaica. And, 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 and I, I think you are the fit man. Mm -hmm. And he, he ex, he, I spoke with him a little. But uh, he's, uh, he's saying, having, having Bible study, as we call him the following day. So I remember I took his number. And the day I put on some enough credit, I was sort of excited with myself now. So I, I remember I go over, over, over by Oak Garden and I sat 
and we talk for about three hours on the phone. Like we know each other, we never know each other from mm -hmm. Adam. And I was saying, he was saying, our final word, he said, Pastor, you know, I call me Pastor. He said, Pastor, God make no mistake. Not at all. God made no mistake. You understand? And, and, and it wasn't easy. I was wondering, oh, am I going to say to my pastor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, am I going to say to my pastor? I still go to church. I remember go to I go a members meeting. I'm mean, writing on my book. This is my last members meeting. I remember when 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 I preach, I said this is my last sermon here. Me I write down everything, but me not say nothing to pastor. Because all of this ordination service plan and everything, pastor, my bishop supposed to come from Canada, come to the ordination and all of that. My God, and I. Just man up and call pastor with a tremble. And we say to her, man, now we cried. We cried. We cried. We cried. It wasn't a pretty transition. We had members, we had officers meeting first. And we say it in church to the officers, who we cry, cry, and they give me my blessing. Trust me, they gave me my blessing. Me and Pastor Ricky to hug up and we cry. Do what we cry like baby. The guy was like her son. Mm -hmm. But I said, I said, listen, I said it in the church when I was leaving. I say, I'm not going to take no, nobody, no one coming with me. Right. Only me and my wife and my two boys, little boys at the time going into yeah, I remember going them. kindergarten, mm -hmm. I think they're primary school up by St. Aloysius. I believe in that. And they said here, Javel or Javon. Javon, the year after, Javon asked for Casey. And I remember our bishop came and do the ordination. Same place down right down there. I thought you was there. You were there. Or, no, I wasn't um, at, no, no, I wasn't. Right, a, lot, a lot of, because so I used to go around and do a lot of uh -huh. preaching. It was a big ordination, huge, huge, right? And it was uh, in the year 2011, in January. Right, and uh, and then we start the ministry in February. Right. Remember, we, we get a place to rent up by mm. Elliston Road. Road, right? Right, we start the ministry there, but we never have the opening service until about October. And the opening service was huge, you were there. Yes, you met was there. there. It was awesome, man. But ministry, oh hmm. my god, hmm. ministry. It was today I was sent to Sister Miller. Trust me, anybody want position, give them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give them it. Listen to me. Because sometimes when ministers stand up on you, you know. If you know mind shop, you run left your clothes, you know. Hmm. You have to make sure that call you. And especially when is it too old? Oh my God. When, it, when both of you are carrying the heart for yeah. ministry. You see, if it's one, and that one will say, all right, you go on. Me, 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 all right, me now come, me will stay. It's a little bit different than when both of you, because she's coming in support of you. You're going in support of her. A holy power, you know. Lot of work. And Lots if you're not careful, it take a toll on you. She was in she was in church today. She could have the prayer that she was sick. I said sick from yesterday. From Friday night, she started not feeling well. So like mm -hmm. she got black. I know. I said, make sure you take your iron tablet and all of that. She 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 forced and she was in church today, sitting but she relaxing and yes. You know, and I was saying, man, and, and a lot of my members are sick, are out, not in church. You know, and I know, I know it's a plan of the enemy. Yes. You understand me? Because even today, a pastor lady called me and she was saying, boy, just if you look a member in terms of lady, I know you're alone. It, 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 it's right across the board. Spiritual warfare, yes. I yes. said, listen, my church is like a shift. Sometimes the amount that the set that come this week and coming back next week. <laughs> Are you experiencing what I'm talking about? Oh, my God. 
So I was saying to Sister Miller before I came here this evening, I was saying, Sister Miller, I'm, I'm sorry for the lady leaders, them, you know. The lady know. pastors, them, you know, yes. this time it's all rough on them, you know. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, it doesn't matter what. Ladies are emotional. Yeah. True. And we men are... We leave from our emotions. So when you right, see the crowd, right. we lash out. Right, there. right. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. yeah. I won't be the same to her. Well, I'm moving sometime, you know, I'm not a visitor to her, but we can't visit her right now. I'm mean, not nah, left the weight, right? Yeah. I cannot leave the weight any. Because, listen, I, I, we're talking. I consider myself a good preacher. And I, you, you guys should know, I don't wait on crowd to preach if I right. one person. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so, but some person move by the crowd. Yes. So, so if one person step up in our prayers, I will preach like you have a million. Mm-hmm. I will take it to the top. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so, first stop. We 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 were at, at, at Elliston Road until I remember we get the place there, four of us, me and my wife and the two boys. Right? And we walk out and we give out flyers and invite people to church. And man, the first Sunday, all we think everybody promising my coming a lady tea. Hey. My God. And the first Sunday, we are in there saying we'll never have no instrument, get instrument to borrow. Right? No bishop, the ship off stuff we never reach yet. And we started on the 20th of February, 2011. I remember quite well. And her dear Sister Miller, I play praise and worship. Brother Ken died now. I play the keyboard, Janel, Javel. Je- Javon, I play the drum, barrel drum, Javel. Sit down at the entrance with him like a pamphlet, them at the usher. <laughs> Sister Miller, mother read with Pastor Miller, sit down. He that he recommend. And then we hear, can you know the place was have a nice car? Mm-hmm. We hear one car driving. Can you know you cock your ears and I listen? Me a car driving and me a more than one door slam. Me say, yes, that's a more than one person. So me look, me see three persons step in. They're from another church that I used to go preach all the while. And they, they visited the day, man. I, I, I was really good. I was happy. And I remember that my first sermon, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Please God, God amen. And I, pre- I preach like the place for. Like a place for. And I did one big place too. I preach like the place I preach like the place for. Yes. And it made it hot. Like hot. Mm-hmm. And man, I, 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 and those, those three members, those three persons, now they are members here. One, one, my deacon and two missionaries. And then we had we had rough times, mm-hmm. rough times. Members comes and go, bad 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 experiences. Bad experiences, yes, yes. <laughs> so that I I, feel, I I I don't want to discuss, you know, bad experience. Yeah. Right, and we have to, and then we used to pay like seventy thousand a month out of nothing, out of nothing. God bless my, our my bishop. I can say our bishop. Can I have you like it is that? Don't it? You know, <laughs> you know? and and. Every month, sometimes, sometimes when we don't call it for the month, they are like nearly ten thousand dollars for the month. Nah, Jesus, and, and I have seventy thousand dollars for rent. The rent is seventy thousand watt, and I ain't light now in it. We say Jesus. Yes, and Lord. When I call him, he, he wouldn't hesitate. He would never hesitate. And he said, Pastor, listen, the phone that I'm sending is not from the church up here, you know. I have a ladder overhead. It is from my pocket. Well, listen. You can't serve good when you're not paying your bills. Not true. Yeah, man. And we have never owed that woman a cent. Praise God. Until uh, after we have been there one year, she wants to raise it to a hundred thousand. Mm. And then the church began to grow. Yes, people begin to come in and church are going good. Our first baptism. But you and still can't afford it. Still you can't afford. Still you can't afford. Right. And and hundred thousand with this, I said, no, we got to move. So we start look somewhere, and then news reached the landlord that we find somewhere. Hmm. And she come in one day with a three story building. No, we are we are the first floor, and then she she have entrance from upstairs, and she come in and she break up. You remember that big rustum rustum wide and big. Mm-hmm. She mashed it up one Saturday morning. My God. Some brethren called me and said, Pastor, blah, blah. 
And my bishop said, Pastor, all you got to do is for reporting. Mash it up, say we who are on the, the you know, we end up in court. End up, uh, us, oh my God, ministry. Ministry. And then I called my bishop and, and, and the following Sunday, our bishop was here. Our bishop was here and we, we and, and that's it, that's it all we get, where we are, we are now. Where you are now, yes, I remember, I and, remember. And the, our bishop come and we just have a little short service this Sunday and we move this Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. Who this Sunday even come over to Rockford? Some members never come because they're afraid of Rockford, mm -hmm. the stigma that mm -hmm. was about Rockford. And, you know, it was tough, who, tough, tough, who, tough did, who never did for come? No come. Put it right, right that, exactly. But who was for the ministry? You know, I always say, because, you know, we're at a different ministry now for two years, and it's what we know, two years, a few months. And I, and I said, you know, God, first of all, we never have no intention for going on more leadership. It was yeah. our time now. That's what we thought. It was our time now to just be us, just be wife and husband and enjoy each other. But God had other plans. And, you know, I said, after kick and scream, me literally kick and scream and Cause purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I may I say, after all that I have been through, me again, no. But I said to the members, God will send who is fit for here. Don't worry about it. Who yeah. is fit for here? And you know, as we talk about ministry. Well, I mean, I know God just good, and we just need to serve Him. We just need to serve Him and serve Him good because sometimes you leave somewhere, so you leave in you now. People would have it to say because I remember when my former overseer left our, our former church, the church that I well, we both got saved in, and because God had called him into ministry. But it was a ministry that started with children. Okay. And he was being criticized, saying, left. Now I want to go to a pastor. If he pick me, I pick me, I want to go pastor. Not, people not understanding. That's what the Bible said without vision, the people perish. Yeah. Children are a future. So if you see a church, and I always say, a church without children is a failing church. Yes, yeah, that's true. A church with our children in a problem because who went to cover? Over, yeah. You understand me? Saying this to say that God will send, God will pull us out from somewhere that we're comfortable in and send us somewhere that we're going to get some, we're going to feel a lot of discomfort and some pinch and some cramps and some pain because now you're forming all over because remember I know you were okay because you were not the pastor so you could uh, even though yeah you know you're there but certain burden never depend on you no way but so God now puts you in a place where you are the pastor and so the shaping now has to take place but I also say as I told my brethren no worry about this because God is going to send the right people and the seed play out ever so often I see it play out and I'm just looking and I'm saying God you are just awesome <laughs> you are I just awesome I the lady you, but he just, you see even last year last year about this time uh, while you guys was on some retreat last year Mm -hmm. You know, an incident took place here. Man, that could have messed my ministry up. Mm -hmm. And 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 tell you, brethren, we, we lost some members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, we lost about like like about seven or so like that. Members mm -hmm. in a boom, 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 boom. Yeah, man, just like that. Just like that. 
Remember getting texts from ones like the other day, sir, I won't be coming back. And then the same night, my next one, sir, I'm not be I won't be coming back. I say, well, all, all I say, okay, okay, okay. I ain't no try to find out what from what is what. And then, but, but today, today, I was preaching from from Saint John 15. Where, 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 where Jesus said, I am the true vine, mm -hmm. and my father is the gardener, my the husband man. And, and there comes a time when pruning has to go on. There you go. And, and, and then watch who do the sometimes I you God. get the pruning too. Sometimes I you get pruned out in order to go farm. All right. Something else All over right. there. So and we don't All understand right. you it, know you know. But sometimes, you know? sometimes. Even the one where you think they're so now get pruned out, get pruned, cut off, and, and rejointed because ministry must be expanded. Yep. Yep. Because watch this. The thing about it, where, where I understand, the, the, the way that I, uh, I mature in Christendom and doing things, I, if I was at Red Tony, it wouldn't happen. That is it. It wouldn't. That is it. It wouldn't happen. That's you it. understand, and I, and I and I thank God. It's not saying that I'm rejoicing. No, because but you understand because you come into 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 what probably the, I'm not even sure if this is right, right? But well, alignment with right, right. what God is doing. Because as, as we are saying, my life, my purpose, my praise. praise. Yes. So 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 his praise. So purpose, purpose. Uh, we have to we have to fulfill purpose. Yeah, man. Yeah. It, uh, it seems that we are on a mission. It just come like like Jonah. Jonah was still on a mission, you know. Mm -hmm. And he, he could never abort. Yeah. And there comes a time he end up end up in a situation it was uncomfortable. Right. But he, he, he has to consistent. He have to continue in order to fulfill, to fulfill the, the mission. Right. And the purpose. And then you would have so you anybody knowing you would understand that you're purpose driven. So when the pandemic hit us and uh, we couldn't go out as we would, a lot of things started to happen that we can look back now and say, God, you're on the dinner this all along. Yeah, we know so the heads of, of government and, and we, we, we understand because we read our Bibles and we know. Yeah. But God's hands were also in this, in the sense that him say, all right, guess what? Them create this, and out of this, my people can't come together. But then platforms were now open. So I'm soon that person. was out long time, you know, just modify. And bam, 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 Zoom churches and this and that and that and Facebook. And so out of that, you started. You just come back here and start pray. And we have yeah. now a program, Sweet or Fur, that most days you have up to 100 persons on in the mornings coming out for prayer. You're, you're singing, you're playing music, you're encouraging. So you're feeding a ministry we are talking about because right. I was speaking to another guest, you know, and we were talking about the same thing, that ministry is not only confined to the four walls. And that is, so that is what the pandemic has taught us. That, so we really think that we could have only do it in a church, but the pandemic mm -hmm. taught us that we have to go back to the, the, the acts of the apostles and we have to go have host church and street church and, and church on the corner because them say we can't come together in larger mm -hmm. numbers than a certain amount. But when you go up on the corner, you can't talk to a one man. You can't talk to a one woman. When you go in a one house, a five people, or you can't find 10 people in a one house, is a church, you know? You can't go after yeah. church. When you sit at home and you go live, you cannot tell people, say them can't come on because they're not seeing anybody. So avenues have been opening and you have been one person who has been utilizing the platform, Facebook, on your, not just, well, not just the live, but you also, 
you, you tap into, so your services are also aired live, your Bible study live and all of that. And so we are talking about purpose, fulfilling purpose. With all that you have been through, yes, the, the, the one time hot, I'm going to call it now, cha-cha boy. Oh, <laughs> you know, never want God. Never ever want God. You're not ready for God yet. You're too young for this. Yeah. But the accident with your brother hurt, and rightly so. But God, <laughs> God not easy, you know. So you would think you bad. So you own way I'm bad, because you go, go off. But it right. was in the plan of God because you had to escape that accident for reasons True. unknown to all of us. Because God saw that come 2020, come 2011, come tw whatever year, come 2022, there were things that you had to do, exploits that you had to do. And so he could not allow, he would not allow certain things to happen. It couldn't allow the enemy to take you out, right? Because you must fulfill purpose. On your programs or on your platforms, you have seen lives transformed. You have, people have come with testimonies. Baptism, I, I, I do two baptisms from the program. Praise God. Which one of the programs? The, the morning prayer. Morning, pro, morning Praise prayer. Praise God, right? And, 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 and people have testified that, you know, this has happened. This is a change. This is what I've, I've experienced by coming on. But there is greater coming. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but, and I speak from the authority that when God entrusts us with little, and we manage the small things that he gives us, then he's going to see. Because you see, we don't do like the man with the one talent and go bury. No. Well, no, you the out of Rockford, there were gunshot of fire where people afraid for go. You lost the members when you moved the church to, to Rockford. Because I'm not going to go Because they might kill me. You're at a place where you call Warwicka Hill. Right. Right, where people hear stories. I sent a friend to your church who lived close. She said, where you talk to? Me? No, sir. Then <laughs> I go, yes, sir. Come here, sir. One good church, but I'm one nice bridge. You know, no, Erica. Mm -mm, me not cross that, sir. You're mad. And there's a female, me at all, boy. You right. understand me? So you're in an era people afraid for come because. <laughs> oh, me not go, that's a too much shot. Too much shot. I, 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 I even invite a policeman and they said, no, not that place. Yeah, man, <laughs> several. <laughs> Several people say, them, I mean, God put us in some area and people say, oh, me, you must be mad. And trust me, you know, from I've been here almost 10, 12 years, 11 years, the only time I hear gunshot during service is like watch night service. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a norm. Yeah, that's a norm, right. You know, no, no. These guys, these guys are, I tell you, if, if they're going to keep a little session, mm -hmm. they turn the music off or down. I say, Pastor, don't worry yourself. Yeah, man, and sometimes when it finished me, say, oh, no, can't crack it no man. Blow off the rooftop. I say, Pastor, you know, easy, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I remember one day I was riding in, coming early in the morning. I guess I live on a white suit. When I pass the bar, because there's a bar here, right. to two of the brothers run out and say, Pass, I look good. <laughs> you know, the, the men, you know, yes, and, and yes. they're not funny. But you know, the relationship that we keep, you know, you, you know, you know, because we, we, the thing about, you know, we can we can look down on persons and believe that we are better than them. No. You know, no. there comes a time out of nothing. But they believe that I know sometime out of nothing, I would go on the corner and give a little envelope. I mean, so I'm going to buy something, man. I'm not going to buy that. Don't buy no weed with the money. And it was a pastor, you know, easy. You know, but, you know, you can't tell them what to buy, but you know, you show them your love. Go tell yeah. them that coming to the church, but they will say, boy, pastor, with you, and we are here, you're thinking of. Go on, do you thinking of my mm -hmm, you? Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just keep mm -hmm. on. Scott, the seed, the seed has been the seed, sown. Yes, yes. 
Yes. <laughs> They see it so, and sometimes when them get a touch, them hide. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, see I'm them laughing again. because I remember an incident. Yeah, man. We had the last crusade, and the brother hide in a walk past the church. Uh -huh. Again. And we, we, <laughs> and we were laughing about it. Me and Tia laugh, and I say, because, I mean, we knew that he was touched. We right. knew because the man come at the altar and, I'm, and weep. And me and you know, say, bad man, man a man, corner man, street man, nambal. Yeah. Nambal, eh? Not so easy. easy. You understand me? But eventually, we saw him coming back around. And we know, say, so you just, see, so you just have to just pray, keep praying, keep doing because God, if I don't one man that God send you for, you know? Yeah, no matter no, 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 if it's a no one girl God sent no you for, no matter what them do. So probably in a situation like you were saying, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready ah. for the God thing yet. True, you understand true. me? But we continue to pray, and each time we find him, we remind him, say, God love you. Yeah, you man. understand? And so me understand when they say them now coming about them are here. They're hearing and they're affected by it. They're affected by it because though when I see them walk up in the church and say, I'm ready for surrender, the seed, as you say, is yeah. being planted and God is getting his glory. He might get the glory, he might get the glory. And the important thing is, I mean, for us, is that whatever we are doing, God is getting the glory mm -hmm. out of your life. And that is important. That, and that, that, is, that important. is important, right. And so persons listening to you um, may not even understand, you know, even though I, I, I highlighted a little of it with the struggles that you went through leading up to all of this. Because you see, them see the glory now, you know, but they don't know the story, right? So you, I mentioned about Jadel, but then you had another child who... Didn't live either. Jadel lived for 10 years. The other yeah, child, I mean, you know, only lived for seven a week days. and was gone. And I mean, amidst all of that, you still had to continue ministry. You still had to say, all right, Lord, me no know what you do with me now. <laughs> there are many times. My all wife, right. my wife come and she's sick, but I was she all right. And, me, and, and I'm telling you, Sometimes when I pray and I, I don't know what else to pray, I mean, I say, God, don't it? You know what else, God? We are doing everything. You know, Lady Miller, she she's a tower of strength. She, she support me. She support me, support me fully. Right. fully. She's not she not holding back. You know, she not holding back. I remember last year when my character was being attacked, real serious attack. And she stick by me. I, I remember when I took sick and I lost weight. Uh, for three weeks, I lost 26 pounds. Mm -hmm. Mag, when I say mag, I'm going to get mag. I'm going to have weight yet. Already. Already. You understand? And I, she, she stood by me. We still keep service by home. We preach. We keep service. We have an online thing. And she would do our thing. And I would be there. And she would support me. I remember one night I, I, I planned my funeral because mm -hmm. I feel like I was about to go. Yes. I said, this is it. Mm -hmm. man, and she told me, it was your church preaching? And she was saying to the pastor, you might not want me to talk about me. I don't even know I said it. And she was saying one of the nights, I said to her, Mumi, you know why I'm, I'm fighting? Because you and the boys. And she just went to the living room and started to cry. So you know, so all of those pressures. And, and ministry can't be easy. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and I know for facts, boy, you know. This is purpose. Uh, mm -hmm. would, I, would, I, would I get harder or tougher? I'm not backing down. I, right. So I, I will never back down. Nothing can stop me. And so guys, there you have heard, you know, a whole lot of things. And I encourage you to take, you know, the encouragement as you out there struggle and you wonder if you can make it as a leader, yes, you can. You're pastoring and you can't bother because it's like you're wasting your time. You're pouring 
you know, into people who just leak out what you just poured into him and you into them and you're wondering, this makes sense? Yes, it does make sense. Continue to do what you're doing. Continue to preach the gospel. Continue to teach. Continue to live. Continue to wave the bloodstained banner high. As you go, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to Motivations and Memoirs, please do. And also, share this video. Share to a pastor, a minister, somebody who needs to be reminded. Say, look here, God not throw you out here and, for and forget about you. You're still in his mind. And walk good, and I will see you again next week. Blessings. Blessings.